This is a toy train. And right behind it is the actual version of that, which is one of Canada's weirdest hotels. Each of these trains were actually used back in the 1800s, which have now been converted into Airbnbs, each valued at over $100,000. And for whatever reason, they let you stay here for just 200. And what makes this Canada's weirdest hotel is that it's actually inside of a museum, which you can explore. And I'm gonna be staying overnight at the one right behind me but I'm not alone. I got Nur over here. Hey. I got my boy Navi as well. Hi. Now, based on some of the reviews, the place smells like smoke. It's uncomfortable to sleep in, and there are lots of spiders, and I hate spiders, but I love random side quests with my friends. So this was a train that was actually used in 1945, or it's like a caboose. People literally slept here that are now dead, soon to be us, I guess. Bro, this is kind of eerie. This is a little spooky in here. Bro, they even got like the wood furnace. That's where you cook stuff. There's a photo of people using the kitchen that's literally right behind Nabby. Bro, you guys look like husband and wife. We're on our honeymoon. This is our uh, getaway. Close the door! My fault, my fault. Yo, no we can way. bust it down in here. Oh my god. Bro, this is actually high. This is where cirque jerks happen. I don't know about that. <laughs> you think anyone's got freakier on this, like... Absolutely did, bro. I think we're about to get free. I was pretty curious to know if we had the nicest Airbnb or if there's better, but we won't be able to know that until we're done touring the museum. Bro, my croc came off mid walking. As mentioned earlier, this is actually a museum. So like literally all of this is trains that were used at one point in time um, to run other trains. The museum was closed for the evening, so we'd have to wait until the morning for the full tour. How do I get down from here? But we found a common area that was still open. All right, let's check it out. Okay, it's just the kitchen. I, I like, I kind of want to lie to you guys and like go crazy, but it's the kitchen. This is actually really fancy though for a kitchen. Everything's so like old school. We ate dinner and then played some children's games for whatever reason. Bro, I am horrible at this. And by the time we finished, no! the sun was gone. Oh, that's, this is the inside of the museum? What is this? Oh. Oh, it's a dining room. Oh, that's sick. What is this? It's a train car. What? The inside's pretty sick though. There was one more thing we wanted to check out before bed, but for that, we needed to break out of the museum. No. That's Bro? That was that madness. To be the most crazy. What? It's just one quick jump, bro. That was way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> After effortlessly breaking out of the museum. All right, boys, on to adventure we go. There's a lake nearby. So we're gonna take this path and- uh... Hopefully not get killed by coyotes. The fro? This is like Shrek swamp. What is this? Turns out it was a swamp and they're hard to see at night. So we just went back to the museum to end off our night. You have something, what do you have? I got nothing. You want a rock? No, bro, I have a rock. Something about being in this place honestly felt peaceful. I think there's something cool about, you know, you rent an Airbnb. And like, not only do you have your private space, but you also get like all of, all of this, like everything here. There was a feeling in this moment of just pure serenity and bliss. Oh my, oh my God. And now is the moment of truth. Will I inhale smoke all night long or will I die by spider and mosquito bites tonight? Bro, it's 1.45 a.m. We got to check out at 10. This is what we look like. The beds are surprisingly comfy. Like they look a little less comfy than you would expect. Maybe I'm exhausted. You know what it is? It's the pillows. These are good pillows. Anyways, we're, uh, we're going to sleep now. We're going to sleep now and uh, we will see what this place looks like in the daytime tomorrow morning. Right, Nabi? All right, it's been Nabi approved. Whoever said this place was uncomfortable to sleep in could not have been more wrong. I'm not gonna lie, these were extremely comfortable. Did you, how'd you sleep? So good, bro. I'm ready to do like 20 hours of work right now. This is how our beds look after we absolutely destroyed them. Bro, still throwing gang signs for some reason. Supposedly there's supposed to be a ton of mosquitoes and spiders in here, but there weren't. I was low-key a little scared, cause like, I hate spiders. So I thought if a spider crawls on the side of the wall or something when I'm sleeping, I don't want to have to deal with that. But there hasn't been any bugs, surprisingly, in here. The bugs are, there's a lot of bugs outside. In the morning time, we came across Brian, who gave us a tour of the museum. This is why you have to be really careful. First week I was here, I lost the tip of my finger. Oh, no. On this? Yeah. Oh, no. no, it was this hand. Okay, so this one's okay. <laughs> oh my. Okay. I That's fell for so that bad. so hard. Yeah. He let us use an actual phone that was used at this train station back in the 1920s, which is insane. That was my quality. Pretty good, I would say. How is he calling from an iPhone? After touring the interior, we went back outside to look at the rest of the trains. 
So supposedly the train right behind me, the massive green and black train, used to be a uh, dental office where they did dental stuff. Bro, they worked on people inside here. I mean, that's usually how dentist office works. The hallway is so narrow. Oh, there's a kitchen. So we're in the kitchen. We're, we're in the kitchen. <laughs> we're, we're in the kitchen. This is where they used to cook up in the stir fry. Yeah. Okay. Wait, this is kind of crazy. What the hell is this, bro? Where's that toilet? Main bedroom. Jeez. Loki, this is actually sick. Damn, this is... Bro, wow. close your mouth. All right, this was something here. Honestly, this is probably where you die after getting work done over there. Oh, you got the waiting room. Okay, this is the waiting room. It's the waiting room. This is where they used to eat food. This is actually probably the fanciest part of the train. Where are we going, bro? Just for reference, like, look how... Look how small the average person back then was. Like, look at the... There's, this chair is tiny. Do I look funny sitting in the chair, Navi? I'm gonna compare myself to the little guy. He fits fine. Actually, that's a normal person. Sorry? Yeah, we're you're just, just you're like a giant. The, yeah, normal we're size human animals. being. You're a giant. Behind me is the other caboose that you can also rent on Airbnb. But we're gonna check out and see if we actually had the best caboose. That doesn't sound right. Damn, okay. Okay, this one's got a weird smell to it. My bad. Yo, ours was definitely like the more luxury one. Remember these chairs had leather seats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, are those the original chairs? Look. Yeah, they are. Bro farted on that. So far, I like I like the one that we had better. We're gonna compare cabooses again. There's there's a lot of caboose to look at today. Oh, this is come here. Dock. Bro, this was a mansion back then. Yeah. Holy For shit. sure, operator Yo, we dock. definitely did not have the best caboose. Yo, there's a wasp. Hey, yo, there's a wasp in here. Oh, this one had like seat seats, bro. Oh, this is a sick view. Yes, sir. How do we feel about the whole experience so far? Oh, oh it's actually a lot of fun. What would you rate it? It's like a good nine, nine out of ten. Yeah, honestly, like it's a nice getaway. I realized the reason why I was having so much fun. It wasn't because of where I was. It was because of who I was with. Just put them in sport mode, bro. Sometimes all we want are experiences, but if we're lucky, we'll find some friends. Old and new. For a moment, I felt blissful in the company of people I'm happy to call my friends. Did you just fart? No. And this is what life is about, isn't it? Bro, I just ate another bug. Nom, 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 nom. So we explored a bunch of trains. Explored a bunch of trains. We found a swamp that they probably dumped sewage stuff in back in like the 20s. Yeah. I stepped in it with his crocs. We played Catan. We slept in very cozy beds. They were actually pretty cozy. Bro, I knocked out. Did you wake up at all in the middle of the night? No. Did you? That might have been because that was my foot touching your balls. Maybe they got band-aids for you. Why do I need band-aids? I don't know. I'm gonna break your kneecaps. I'm gonna break your kneecaps.